Hey curlies, I'm Natasha. I help you heal your frizzy fried dried up hair so it's healthy growing and you can create a brand and earn an income from it. So exciting, right? <laughs> so today I want to talk about how to fix your frizz. I don't know if you guys saw yesterday, but I actually did a little poll on my Facebook and I asked people what their biggest hair concerns were and frizz won like by far. So that's what we're going to talk about today. And then as the week goes on, I'll talk about some of those other issues that you guys have brought up. So if you guys are watching me live, go ahead and type live in the comments. And if you're watching this afterwards on the replay, thank you so much for being here. Go ahead and type replay. And I want to start before we get into my four tips. I'm going to give you four tips about how to fix your frizz. But before we get into that, I want to share an announcement. As you guys know, I've been partnered with the Luxury Hair Care Company for the past seven months. Oh my gosh, seven months. It's gone by so fast. It's been really exciting. It's been a huge blessing and it's been a really big growth opportunity. And so I want to pay that forward by taking on five women this month in the month of August to teach and mentor how to build a business online in partnership with this luxury hair care company. And I'm going to share say straight up that this is not for everyone. This opportunity is really for people who are looking to build an extra income um, either on top of what they're doing with their full-time jobs or to replace their full-time jobs and it does require work. It requires commitment and it requires consistency so I'm really looking for women who are really to put in that time who are willing to put in that effort to move themselves and their life forward. So if that's you if you're interested, if you can see yourself passionate about hair, send me a message um, or share this with a friend if you think that they're looking for an opportunity like this. But now we're going to dig into my four tips for fixing your frizz. And thank you so much for being here. Will you go ahead and type live and let me know that you're watching and tell me where you're watching from. And I'm going to get into these tips because frizz is a huge problem and not just for us curly girls, but for anyone who doesn't want to wash their hair every day. It seems like frizz pops up. And there's a couple of reasons why you find yourself having frizz. Is. It doesn't always mean your hair is damaged, but sometimes it's a big sign that you have a lot of damage that needs to be healed. So this first tip that I'm going to share is about washing and conditioning your hair. And um, I wanted to clarify this because, you know, I'm 31 years old and I feel like <laughs> I just in January learned how to wash my hair properly. And if that's you, if you've ever wondered if there was like a way to wash your hair better to reduce your frizz, go ahead and type me in the comments. I'm going to share with you that there there is. So first and foremost, when you shampoo your hair, shampoo is for your roots. Shampoo is for your scalp. Shampoo is really to remove and, um, you know, move away, cleanse away, build up debris and excess oil. So as you're shampooing your hair, keep it to your roots. Give yourself a nice gentle scalp massage with your shampoo for a minute or two. And keep your shampoo to your roots. As you rinse it away, it'll rinse and cleanse the ends of your hair, but keep your shampoo really concentrated to your roots to get the best result because you don't want to dry out the ends of your hair, which are already dry, which you're already complaining about frizz. So keep your shampoo to your roots. Do one shampoo with a nice gentle scalp massage and rinse it away. And you know, you can like scrub your bottom as you're rinsing away. And then do a second wash, keep it at your roots, and then rinse it away. And then when you condition, remember, condition is for your frizz. Conditioning is for your dry broken ends. So when you condition your hair, start at the ends and then work your way up. Start at the ends and finger comb out or use a wide tooth comb to comb out the ends of your curls and move your way up so that your conditioner stays concentrated on the area you really need it most. The ends which are dry, which are frizzy, which are maybe broken and that's going to help you um, get a better result with handling your frizz, healing the ends of your hair that are broken or really dry and parched and thirsty and um, overall that should help you see a reduction in the frizz that you guys have and if you have questions about this go ahead and type out your questions um, and I'll put on my spectacles so I can see what they are <laughs> But you guys, thank you so much for watching me live. So go ahead and type live if you're watching me live. So that's my first tip. And that first tip has to do with shampooing and conditioning your hair to really control your frizz and do it in a way that um, is actually probably the correct way compared to what you're doing now. Because it took me till I was 31 to learn that. Okay, second on my list, use a satin pillowcase and a bonnet already. You guys, this is probably the tip I talk about the most because after um, I started really focusing on my hair and following curly girl methods and really using techniques that were specific to curls, I saw a huge difference when I started using a satin pillowcase and a satin bonnet at night. So um, I can't find my bonnet right now. I think it's actually in my clothes that are washing, but this is my pillowcase. So it looks like a regular pillowcase. I got it on Amazon. I'll share a link when this video is done, but it has a zipper on the end 
and it's satin. It's really smooth, it's really soft, and the whole concept between using a satin pillowcase at night or wearing a satin bonnet on your hair is to reduce that wild friction that happens when you're sleeping like a crazy person like me. I toss and turn in my sleep, I move my head in my sleep, and let's be real, none of us sleep like this. Like without moving around. And friction, I mean, frizz is often caused and definitely caused on a daily basis by the friction of your hair touching surfaces. So imagine at night, as you're rolling, as you're tossing and turning, if you're sleeping on a regular cotton or jersey pillowcase, you are gonna get a ton of frizz in the morning. But you can reduce that friction that happens with your hair on surfaces by using something that is smooth and actually has less friction associated with it. So a satin pillowcase and a satin or silk bonnet are so so helpful with that and trust me if you don't want to use like a satin bonnet because you're scared of your partner or your spouse seeing it just tell them it's your cute little hat and it makes you look better <laughs> the next day and I think that they'll be really supportive so get on that already if you're a curly and you don't have either of those I would suggest getting both bonnets are really nice they're actually comfortable to sleep in and if you sleep with a bonnet go ahead and type bonnet in the comments below because they're actually really comfortable some come with a drawstring or some come with um, something that you can tie but either way you can make it loose enough so it doesn't bother you at night and if for some reason it does come off while you're sleeping you have your satin pillowcase also there so you're still not getting that friction of rubbing your hair against like hard fabric and hard sheets getting frizzed that way and you can still pineapple your hair if you do that you can pineapple your hair underneath the satin bonnet it's big enough okay so that was my second tip my second tip were things to reduce your frizz at night so that silk or satin pillowcase and that silk or satin bonnet you can find the link in the comments after this a link to my favorite in the comments after this video is over the third thing is finding products that really protect your hair against humidity you guys it is the middle of summer and if you are in like the southeast like Florida or on the East Coast or even somewhere else like in the south where there's a lot of humidity I'm sure your frizz is driving you freaking crazy and off the wall. I live in California. I actually live in Northern California, so I don't experience that much humidity, but I do experience dry heat that tends to pick up my frizz. And I actually really live really close to the coast. So like yesterday when I was at the beach, I was worried about all that sea air and that sea mist getting into my hair and causing me frizz. So a lot of products promise heat protection, but there are products that also offer humidity protection. For example, the Luxury line that I'm partnered with has a blowout cream, which is awesome for, pre for preventing heat damage when you blow out or diffuse your hair, but it's also a humidity protectant. So if you can find a product like that to work into your um, styling and your refreshes, you'll be so happy because it'll actually help to smooth out your cuticle and it'll help to prevent your cuticle from being as open to accepting moisture from the air, which is exactly what happens when humidity causes you frizz. If you don't know, we're gonna get into a little bit of science here, but if you are really in a really humid environment and you find that that humidity is causing your hair to grow and grow and grow and grow, type me in the comments and let me know where you live because that is so annoying. But what's actually happening is that your cuticle, the cuticle layers on your hair shaft are um, opening. Moisture is being accepted and those cuticle layers are um, shifting and they're starting to stick up and that's what causes frizz, that's what causes too much volume and if you can find a product that actually is going to smooth that cuticle out, help it seal so it retains the moisture it has but is less open to accepting outside moisture from the air, you'll be so happy. You'll have less frizz, you'll have less unwanted volume, right? We already get so much volume with our curls, like most of us don't need more volume um, and that'll really help to reduce your frizz as well. So if you don't have anything like that and you want something, send me a message because I have a really great humidity protectant that I can hook you up with. Okay, if you guys are still watching, thank you so much. Give me some hearts in the comments. I hope that this is helpful for you. So many of you guys reached out after my poll yesterday asking about what you could do for frizz. Um, and if that's you, send me a message. I can give you a personal recommendation or you can just follow these tips because I think they're so helpful as well. So this fourth and final tip is the most important. So if you know someone who hasn't watched this video all the way through, go back and tell them to watch for this fourth and final tip because this is so important and I see that so many women are trying to manage their frizz from other aspects, but they continue to ignore this fourth tip. And that's actually healing the damage that you already have in your hair. So you'll see women who have a lot of split ends, who have a lot of breakage or damage from color, they'll just chop all their hair off, which is like nice, but who wants to chop their hair off 
off like every eight weeks when you're trying to grow your hair out. You need to heal that breakage and that damage that you have and then prevent yourself, protect yourself, be really proactive about reducing the amount of damage you get in the future. You guys, I dye my hair blonde. I do it every like four months. I'm gonna start doing it every two to three months because the products I'm using has my hair growing so fast. But that damage caused me crazy frizz for the last few years before I switched to this natural product line. I had split ends up the wazoo. I had frizz all the way up to even like the crown of my head, an area where most of us don't have to worry about damage and breakage. And I was able to solve that problem, heal that damage, and therefore heal my frizz and make my hair look so much better, even when it does have frizz from going seven days without washing, which is where I'm at today. Let me know how long you guys go between washes and refreshing your curls in the comments. I would love to kind of like get a pulse on how long you guys are able to like manage that before you have to revamp and refresh it. But if you can really heal that damage, if you can heal that breakage, you can get to a place where your frizz looks healthy and it doesn't look parched, parched and dry and like crazy. So that's my fourth and final tip. Find products that are natural, that don't have a ton of toxins, that don't have a ton of chemicals in them that sit on your hair. Because often what we find is women have been trying to manage their hair for so long. They were trying to make it easier to comb, easier to style. They're trying to make it look good, but they forget about that healing aspect and that um, point of really healing from the inside out. And so they coat their hair with products that, yeah, make their hair look good, but actually prevent their hair from being able to accept and retain moisture, which is bad. It causes more frizz, it causes more damage. And in the long term, it's really not helping make your frizz problem better. So find better products, and I'm more than and happy to make you a personal recommendation for my natural product line if that's you if that's your main concern so you guys I just want to thank you so much for watching please share this video with someone who needs it and if you're interested in um, my announcement from the beginning of the video I would love it if you would reach out and send me a message because I would love to mentor you and coach you through this process of really building a business online for yourself something that you can be passionate about and earn extra income without having to pick up a second job or continue to work overtime at the job that you currently have so you guys I'm gonna go and if you're just joining in please watch this video from the beginning I gave four great tips for how to fix your frizz and if you have questions go ahead and leave them in the comments I'll be coming back to answer your questions and say hi to you guys who are watching on the replay bye friends